For today's set of experiments, we're going to be looking at the reaction between baking soda and vinegar. While both of these compounds are relatively safe, it's best to let young scientists know that they shouldn't be tasting or touching their face with any of these chemicals. For our first experiment, we're going to be looking at the reaction between baking soda and several different types of liquids. So you can choose any liquids you can find around the house, just to make sure that you include some type of vinegar. If you have more than one type of vinegar, feel free to experiment with those to see which one creates the best reaction. I've chosen a couple of simple liquids that you can find in your home. We have regular tap water, lemon juice, coffee, lime juice, and then distilled vinegar. I'll be using this small paint palette as my experiment plate, but you could use an ice cube tray as well. Let's start out by adding a small amount of baking soda to each one of the compartments. The more compartments you have, the more liquids you can experiment with. The tap water seems to absorb the baking soda, but not much of a reaction. Now let's add a few drops of lemon juice. We can see that the lemon juice causes quite a reaction with the baking soda. Since lime juice and lemon juice are both pretty similar, the lime juice should have a similar reaction. The lime juice seemed to be even more reactive than the lemon juice. Now let's try some coffee. Just like the water, the coffee absorbed the baking soda, but not much of a reaction. Last but not least, let's try our vinegar. The vinegar reacted the most with the baking soda. Now that we know the vinegar was the most reactive liquid with our baking soda, let's grab some more materials and try some other experiments. Our next experiment is going to use that reaction that we saw earlier and put it to work for us. So we're going to be using a small container with a straw, baking soda, vinegar, and a small amount of modeling clay. The first thing you want to do is cover up the hole around the straw using modeling clay. We want to cover up that hole because we don't want any of our gases escaping from there. Next, you can put some water inside your container. What's going to happen is we're going to mix the baking soda and the vinegar inside this container. The expanding gases will push out and the only way out is through the straw. So they'll push our water down and up and out the straw. This experiment can be pretty messy, so we're going to head outside to test it out. This experiment should work just fine on a rainy day. First, we'll add the vinegar. Now prepare to add the baking soda and quickly screw on that lid. <laughs> the reaction between baking soda and vinegar creates a carbon dioxide gas. We're going to use that carbon dioxide gas to smother a candle. For this experiment, we're going to need vinegar, baking soda, a small glass, a funnel that fits over that glass, a candle, and a lighter. Make sure anytime that you're using flames, you're using it with parent supervision. First, what we're going to do is add a small amount of vinegar to the glass. Then we're going to quickly move through these next couple of steps. So watch first and then try it on your own. We're going to add the scoop of baking soda in here, and then the reaction will occur inside the jar. We're going to quickly put the funnel on the top to capture all of that carbon dioxide gas. We're going to light the candle, hold the candle over the top of the funnel, and we should see the flame get blown out by that expanding carbon dioxide gas.
For this next experiment, we'll be using a bottle, cork, funnel, vinegar, and baking soda. Now this cork can pop pretty high, so make sure you use caution when producing this experiment. First, we'll add our dry ingredients using the funnel. Now we're gonna quickly add our vinegar and put our cork in and step back. This experiment can take a few minutes, so make sure you step back and keep your distance. With me in the Kids Academy app and learn about math, reading, writing, and more. Scan the QR code or use the link in the description. Let's have fun!